YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video, guys. Today we're going to dial things back a little bit. We're sitting in front of my 2023 55-inch LG MLA G, uh, G3 uh, OLED. It's just a great TV, excellent, and we've got it next to the A95K. If you haven't checked out yesterday's upload, I did my own first comparison first, I say, because there's going to be more probably tomorrow um, between these two televisions. And mine is going to come by way of gaming, more so than the theatrical cinematic content that you guys might see on other channels. At the start of my video yesterday, comparing these two TVs, the, the second one you can't see because this is what's important for this video. I spoke about some other great channels that uh, you know can lead you down the way of getting a great theatrical slash TV cinematic comparison. You know, me, I'm more on the gaming side of things. We're in my game room. This TV is in 55 inch because it's a gaming TV. And I wanna be able to you know articulate my opinion and my truth about this TV because as I continue to use it, I appreciate it in one way, but I'm coming to find out that, you know, it's just not designed as of right now to perform the same way that other TVs are. Uh, let me get to my point so we can uh, talk about this in one sec. All right, guys, so this TV offers a ton of things that do work really good. I mean, to begin, the whites are really good and no matter how overexposed or whatnot it may look, the camera's trying to focus on me and this, it offers a brilliant representation of a picture quality. Now, as I said in the prior transition, the intro of this video, this TV is in 55 inch. What that means essentially is that I selected the size of this TV that would accommodate my use case. This is not a movie TV for me. So for the many of people that have asked me questions like, hey, can you do some type of video testing? What do you think about it on uh, movies or TV shows? It's just not in that space for me. It, it just, it didn't qualify for me to invest in it being that type of a display. And for me, what it does is a great, great, great offering and what it's good at, which is things like producing, you know, whites and blacks. And I mean, those colors aren't the colors that you really get into a TV for. Since OLEDs have been around, you know, we've seen perfect blacks and we've seen crushed blacks and we've seen some whites that are really nice and bright. And now with QD OLEDs, we've seen some whites that have like a pinkish hue to them. In any event, this does produce an amazing white. So for content that is like snow and, you know, things of that sort, it's going to look really good. And I think that the TV also handles motion really well, but there was a comment had actually a statement that uh, Max made. I, I actually, when I was finished making my video last night, comparing this in the A95K, I had watched uh, KG, Tech with KG's uh, stream and him and Max, you know, they do an amazing show. Please check them both out. Uh, very, very great YouTubers in the TV space of things. But Max made a comment and it was a very, very great comment. And the comment, um, pretty much spoke about the LG probably as a company went after making this TV in game mode, right? Cause game mode is like the big issue that people have with this TV. And ironically, I'm a gamer and my coverage is on gaming. We talked about, you know, them possibly focusing more on the performance versus the visuals. Because when you go after gaming monitors, which I've covered quite a few on the channel at this point, you know, you notice that you're not going to get the best of both worlds. TVs are still in that space where if you're looking for the actual best representation of content, you get a television. Well, that's a very interesting point, and it's one that they probably did. I just feel like, you know, this TV in the gaming space, because this is what this is about, they let us down a little bit. There's a couple of different things that are not working like they did last year. So for one, the TV is not certified G-Sync compatible. Whatever happened with their deal, their partnership with NVIDIA, I have no idea. But it's one of the things that, you know, LG was able to hold on since the C9, which by the way, I'm giving away. And so I'm gonna be making some content about me parting ways with that. That was the first TV to introduce us to that partnership of G-Sync being a thing within the TV. And so, you know, yes, this does have variable refresh rate, but that's one of the many things that in my opinion concerns me. Number two, this is the widespread thing that people suggest. 
they suggest you going into other modes and putting on the uh, low latency mode. And guys, that doesn't work. When you do any kind of combination to get great picture quality that makes your TV perform at anywhere north of 20 milliseconds of input latency, you don't have the same TV. We are totally going backwards by doing so. And so I think that's actually a great mention. I feel like, you know, maybe the TV isn't broken in game mode. Maybe it is actually just performing the way that they want it to perform in game mode and we're just not getting that same kind of picture pop so when we talk about picture quality and by the way i have a gaming channel i'm gonna link it in i'm gonna be playing this game like crazy when it drops june 2nd so hit the description check out my gaming channel you know what i'm saying if you don't know me from playing games it's all good get real familiar with seeing me on youtube real soon on that channel though in any event picture quality is definitely not bad it's not you know, but this TV gets stumped on, in my opinion, by the QD OLEDs. S90C, S95C for sure, for sure, and A95K look better than this TV. The wins that this TV have over those is pure whites and the contrast between white and black on the same screen. So what I mean is just the way that shadows articulate in a white scene such as like a sun or the way that you know skylight is is articulated on this tv it does a better job but the colors are what you want on the tv so let's just look at this screen right here we are looking at purple green blue red there's all kind of different mixes of skin tones and things like that typically when you play a video game we don't play this is not the day of us playing pong we're not looking at black and white we are looking at colors and you don't have this type of cover color vibrancy on this TV in game mode that you do on these other TVs. So, you know, that's, it's really a letdown to be honest with you. And I'm a little disappointed in that regard because this is my first time buying a gallery TV. I was okay with buying C models prior, but I jumped after the gallery TV and now I know that I don't have G-Sync certified and I know that I don't have colors in game mode as vibrant and as pure as I do in the other options. So it makes me wonder, like, what is LG thinking? It's almost like going after the MLA just kind of made them make a step back in this regard. Gaming is a big thing now. Like, it's, 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 it's really huge. And I want to know what you guys think, man. You know, I think the TV looks amazing, but it's just, it, it's not revolutionary enough. And to be honest with you, a person like myself who bought it specifically as a gaming TV, I literally for this display could care less about how good it looks. Now, if I go to putting some kind of film content on it, it might look amazing, but that won't serve my needs. I want to know what you guys needs are. If you pick one of these TVs up, what are your thoughts on it? Have you tried anything else? Have you seen in person a QD OLED before you go to saying that, oh, you know, Samsung doesn't have natural colors or, oh, Sony doesn't have, you know, four. Uh, HDMI's that are 2.1. Have you guys got to see those TVs in person? Have you realistically seen them, been able to soft calibrate them to see how they feel, how they perform, how they look? You know, this is a great TV, but I think there's some opportunity and this is my truth on it. I want to know yours. So let me know in the comment section. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless. And as always say, Max Love.